Hi there and welcome to the very first Less Than 10 Talk of 2020. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Piper Harris and I'm the CEO and coach of Poema's Women's Success Coaching. So with our Less Than 10 Talks, what I'm hoping to do is give you some tips and tools that you can add to your toolbox. This is going to further develop your leadership skills. I believe every woman is a living masterpiece and she is a leader in her life whether she's in the boardroom or she's at home. So we're in our first week of 2020. It's incredible. I am so excited about the what the year holds for me. And in fact, I've engaged some friends in my endeavors for 2020. My best friend and I are talking about getting back on track with eating and exercise. Because if I'm honest, November and December are a complete wash. <laughs> I didn't make that my priority, but it's okay. So she and I have our goals. Here's the thing with goals. If you just say, I wanna lose 15 pounds in six weeks, but you don't set and establish habits, you're never going to get there. So today, I wanna talk to you about shifting your perspective and creating your identity. Habits, those are our internal dialogue. Those are those things that are building up our identity. So what are your habits right now? Are you sitting on the couch a lot? Are you hitting snooze in the morning rather than waking up? What's that internal dialogue telling you when you do those things? I can't do it, I'm lazy, I'll never make it. So by establishing habits, we are rewriting that internal dialogue, that internal narrative. We are shifting our perspective. Listen, if you practice a habit one to a thousand times, What that does is it shifts us into, I can't do this, into, I can do this, this is me. Every action that you take is establishing a new identity of who you want to become. So let me ask you a question. What habits do you need to establish? Just think of one. If your goal is to lose 15 pounds in the next six weeks, Think of someone who's been able to stick with it. What do they do? What are their habits? Take one of their habits and you start practicing the same thing day in and day out. The more you work on these habits, the more you're gonna hear yourself say, this is me. So listen, our habits are really teaching us a self-belief. By practicing these over and over again, it's almost like giving us proof of I am worthy. Now, I know you might not have these habits established right now, but here's the thing. It's okay as you start up and saying to yourself, I'm creating this habit. I'm going to keep going through for this for this next 30 days. I am worthy of this new identity, this goal that I want to reach. So again, You need to set habits or behaviors over your desired outcomes. This is going to assign a new identity to you. That sounds amazing, doesn't it? So when it comes to leadership goals, what are some habits that you should be creating to build yourself up as a leader in the boardroom or as a CEO? Consider this, we have kind of different levels of habits. You have a big habit, and then you're gonna chunk it down to small habits, and then we have to talk about reduction habits. So let me explain that. A big habit. So this is something that's going to be an umbrella that's going to affect all those you know, smaller habits but that are more attention consuming. So let's think about sleep. If your habit is to get eight hours of sleep every night, what are the smaller habits that are going to create more attention or you're going to be able to give more attention to if you get eight hours of sleep. Well, you're gonna get your workouts in. Maybe you're gonna be able to focus better. You're gonna write that book, you're gonna pay those bills, or you're gonna be able to run after those kids. So you see, there's big habits that are going to help those smaller habits that take most of our attention. Think about those overarching habits that we need to establish in order for us to focus on those real nitty gritty habits. So for me, with my best friend, we're getting back into it, right? My overarching goal is that I would like to get back to October fitness, okay? That's my overarching goal. And I had to ask myself, how did you originally get there? 
Well, it was by scheduling my time out, setting time aside and telling myself, hey, this is you. So my overarching habit is schedule. And the little small habits underneath that are really going to affect change in my life are scheduling my workouts every Sunday so I know what they look like for the week, ensuring that I get lots of sleep at night, (laughs) and I'm also going to be practicing this however many days a week I set up. The other habit I want you to think about are your reduction habits. What do you need to get rid of? You've got to reduce those habits. Is it scrolling on Facebook or Instagram for hours at nighttime when maybe you could be reading a book and doing some personal or professional development? Or maybe you simply need to turn off your email so you can focus on your family rather than the office. Think about those things that you need to reduce. And by reducing those negative habits, you're going to increase the positive habits by creating a new identity and establishing a new perspective about you. So it's all about habits in 2020. How are you going about your habits that are within your goals? You have to chunk them down and you have to practice them consistently. And remember, these habits are establishing an identity. So ask yourself, who do I want to be? Who is somebody that I really admire? What do they do? Find one of their habits and start chunking away at it consistently. And before you know it, you're going to hit your goals. So thanks so much for joining me today for Less Than 10 Talk. I am Piper Harris with Poema Women's Success Coaching. If you're wondering, how do I do this? I would love to help you. I work with mid-level women leaders. I help you to establish goals, the habits, the action steps, and I give you a focused accountability plan. I would love to talk to you more about how we can create an awesome change in your life. So thanks so much for joining me today. Be sure to check me out at piperharris.net and I hope to have a session with you very soon. Thanks so much and we'll talk next time.